fights can end in any second. That is the, the beauty of mixed martial arts. But usually, when you see a quick finish, it's a knockout. This fight was gonna change my life. I was saying 15 minutes to change your life. This will hurt more than anything, any other loss. I'd rather be knocked out than submitted. It's more embarrassing, I feel. All the plans that I had have just now disappeared, so, yeah. I don't really know what's next. I don't think it was underestimating his opponent. I think Armand was just fully prepared for what was coming at him. It's, it was too important for me. This is, like I said, my destiny, and this is everything to change my life. The reactions and the skill of Armand, he was ready for what was coming, and that is 90% of the game. And then he shot in, and I got the, I got the choke that I, I, I tend to use whenever people shoot on me like that, and got the win. That fight was so kind of one-sided. I think Armand just got going quick. One minute we're winning, look, feeling good for it, and then boom, he could, he could turn around like that. That's what makes this sport very exciting. But I knew once his head was underneath my arm, I knew it was game over. Like, I'm not surprised Armand won, but I'm surprised in how quick the finish was. The Irish team are going to feast on this victory. At first, I didn't feel anything, and then back in the changing room is when it all hit me and it all sunk in, you know? When a fight happens that quickly, you don't really have time to process it. I still haven't really processed it yet. You're going to rub it in Team England's face a little bit. I definitely will. It was quick, so I, that's, I mean, that's why also I'm really gutted for um, Jake not to get the chance to show his skill set. He, oh, hey, God. he's a grappler, you're a striker now, yeah? Is that it? Fuck. Now it's really Team Ireland versus Team England. Octagon Challenge is a reality TV show where eight MMA fighters will go head to head. Two teams with four fighters from England and four from Ireland. One by one, they will take each other on as they look to advance to the semi-finals. Each semi-final showdown must feature England versus Ireland. By the semi-finals, if one team has more winners than the other team, then the team coaches will select the two best fighters from their teams to go forward. The winners of the semi-finals will then face each other in the grand finale, which will be broadcast live in front of thousands of spectators at the AO Arena in Manchester on November 4th. The finalists will fight for a contract worth £25,000 and for the title of the first winner of Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. Unfortunately, I now got to leave for the next three days, but don't worry, I will be back. But I have to leave it in hands of uh, Martin Stapleton. He's coming in to take over my role as head coach. He has a military background, and um, technically we are well, with the Irish. With the challenges tomorrow, if we win, I've told him which fight I would like us to pick. Him and Akon obviously going to be working side by side. I'm leaving my children behind, I guess, but I, I, I believe I, I'm leaving it in safe hands. My background is the Royal Marines. I genuinely believe that that's what has helped me progress in this sport. I've got three days here. My whole mission for three days is to win fights, help these guys win fights. If I can make a little bit of improvement with the guys while I'm here, then that's my job done. Obviously, I'm not going to have to be able to make a massive improvement with them, but if I can influence them a little bit, give them that little edge, that's what I'm here to do. I want them to realise that this is one opportunity that they get to make a huge difference to their lives, and I want them to make sure that they go out there and they put absolutely everything into that. We got back to the villa and the Irish weren't there. We walked through the door and on the floor, there was an English training top with roses all round it, obviously relating to the second challenge, and a note in the middle of it that said, RIP, here lies Jake McHugh. He once was a grappler, now he's just a poo. 2001 to 2023. 
Full stack. Honestly, I was just on such a big buzz from winning and all, uh, I got a bit carried away. That's just a bit mental to me, to be honest. That just kind of shows who, who, you are as, who you are as people. There has to be a bad guy and a good guy in every story, so we're going to accept our role as the bad guys in that case. It's just completely disrespectful in every single way. We didn't do it to them, you know, when I won. The guys can say anything they want about, oh, you know, when they beat Aaron, they didn't, you know, start going on and on. But it's like, okay, but that's you guys, you know what I mean? That's not our character. Forget about it. It's what it is, fucking, that's it, all right, Sam. Huh? Go like that, go like that. We'll go back to that there. See you then. What are you saying, what are you saying? When I saw them in Bratislava, I thought it was just Dennis. So Armand fist bumped me, and then the rest of them fist bumped me, and Dennis went through, and I was like, don't do that after you've just left that at the L's. Okay, so you think we're you? Okay, no, no, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> so, that then. Tell me you're on the then. Hey, listen, we all had a part to play. We all had a part to play. We all had a part to play. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. All right, we're going to need to roll kind of disrespectful then. That's okay. That's okay. Really okay. Yeah, they're good guys, the Irish guys, you know. They're just playing messers. That's it. They're messers, you know. That's what we call the crack, you know. Just leave it, man. Because fuck it, I know I, I know it's humiliating. I know it's fucking horrible. I wouldn't let anybody bully anybody. Well, if you want to put all the blame on me, that's cool. I'll take the blame. Cool. All right, well, it was all of you then. No, I'm not. Fuck it, man. Fuck it, fuck it. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your night. See you later, lad. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is set to be the most epic challenge of the series. Oh! Honestly, I thought we were going to be playing a game of capture the flag once we've seen the castle. Let's go. Let's go. We thought we were going to be doing like paintballing or something. What the yeah. fuck? Uh, oh, this is going to be top point. Oh ball. my god, this is gonna be fucking sweltering, lads. Gentlemen, we have brought you here to reignite age old rivalries, to go to battle, to settle some scores, and most of all, to decide who wins the next choice of the next fight. So, before we go to battle, suit up, guys. Team Ireland, Team England, I will see you up there. Hurrah! Yeah, I didn't know what was going down. Uh, I knew there was gonna be some medieval shit going down here. How do you put it on? When um, I saw Brian in the armor and all our armor and thought, I was like, this is going to be so much special. It's a modern age around here. I don't know what they say about Slovakia. They say it's behind the times. A part of me wanted to, to get picked just because I, I'd love to do a stare down in the suit of armor, you know, in a castle. Ah, my merry men. So, guys, welcome to my castle. Yeah, needs a little bit of work, but it's very nice in the summer. It's all about the views, guys. It's all about the views. You are here to build your own castles. Team Ireland, that will be your castle. Team England, this is your castle. However, this will be a challenge that will go down in two parts. Firstly, whoever builds their castle the quickest and finishes it, they will earn themselves four extra cannonballs, or as we call them, cabbages, okay? because the second part of this challenge is to destroy each other's castles using these catapults I've made with my own fair hands, okay? You guys ready? Go! Go, 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 go! It's all forced, all forced, lads! <laughs> that building here, so that way. Yeah. No, that's the door. Yeah. So, yeah? That's the door, that's the door. Is that the other one? Yeah. We need them two with the black things. Team Ireland were ahead to begin with. Team England slowly coming together. They might have a secret weapon in George Staines. To build the castle, we used to George's amazing Lego building skills. Sad. Yeah, it goes that side. Yeah. Don't look at the wall, it's sad though. True, yeah. See? Yeah, this one goes this side. George, he, he likes to build blocks of Lego and all, so that was pretty easy for him to get that castle built. Here, well, this needs to go beside this. So this will go here. No. I know, I know, I know. No, no. Ooh, yeah, maybe yeah, coming it. together. No, we need we need two things with black bits on this. This bits here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these go on top. No, there's, four there, up, well. there's four up, Jake. Yeah. 
They keep building, then having to rebuild. No, 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 no. no. I think it's over here. Look. Here, no, this, this needs here. to be at the top. Yo, this th has these to are be the, at top. the top. These ones are up here. These ones are, these the, are like, the top. yeah, 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 yeah. And then that goes above that. This is just a typical Thursday for me. There's more boxes here. There's more boxes, but here, just above Look. here. Throw that one in the top. Put these two under this, not them. Yes, because they're at the top. All right, the flag. Flag goes here. Yeah, Mom. Done. Oh. Time! Wow! Wow! Close! Ah, so super Christmas. close! Team England, the power of George Staines and his Lego expertise. It is, it is. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Two beautiful castles, but Team England completed theirs first. Ah. So they will win the four extra cannonballs. Take now, gentlemen, to make it a little bit more interesting, stroke dangerous, you can choose one person to defend the castle from the onslaught of fruit and veg that we are throwing at. So one at a time, you can choose to stand in front and try and sacrifice yourselves to save your castle. Ready for battle, guys? Yeah. Uh, ooh, Three, uh, ooh, two, uh, ooh, one, uh, let's go! Goalkeeper Dennis, yeah? I wanted to do the keeper at the start, but they, what, they put Dennis in there at the start because he's bigger and longer. Oh, yeah. look at this. Footballing skills coming into play. Here we go. Oh! Yes! Shot. Team Ireland almost. Now we're going for the Way! apple. An apple a day doesn't keep Galazi away. I even got some injuries that you can see here. Uh, Hassan. I didn't know he's got another talent. A good goalkeeper. One. Two boxes to one. This was great. This was it. Well set up. Oh, yeah. Another one for Team England. This is it. England screeching ahead. Oh, yes. oh, let's get one back. Oh, there we go. Reminded me of an angry bird. Oh, the cabbages are in play. He's still suffering. Oh, another shot for England. Ireland need to connect. Oh, hey. great save from Galazi. I used to play football before. Taking hey. out two nights. Hey. Oh, another strike for England. Crazy challenge. Oh, saved by Aaron McDonald. Oh. <laughs> Took it in the nuts. Towards the end of the challenge, we started picking up a pace. Here comes Frimpong. Oh! Hey. Here we go. We're getting down to the last, last bits of artillery. Fucking shite. Ah. Oh! Hey, you should be getting a point for holding. Get the oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Take it off! Best challenge so far, 100%. Oh, and again. No one's getting past Sarah oh. McDonald. Oh, look at that save! <laughs> look at that save! That was just so sort of fun today. That is it, gentlemen. Come and join me here. So, gentlemen, we welcome your coaches. You got to witness this epic challenge. Paddy, what were your thoughts? Close comeback, nearly. So close, so close. Yeah. It's 1 1 in the fights now. We haven't had any other challenges, but, but we're here to win fights, not challenges. So, uh, yeah. And we welcome you, Mr. Martin Stapleton. Thanks, Brian. Here to step in for Mr. Brad Pickett to, uh, to help lead this team with a con. Didn't get the dress code, mate. I didn't get the dress code, mate. No, I left my body Up armor your game, on mate. today. Up your game, mate. Uh, you can get this through the airport, right? I'll, I'll bring it tonight. <laughs> So listen, it's now yours and Akon's choice for who will be stepping forward for Team England. So will you let us know who will take the next fight for Team England? I think this is an excellent fight. Two really good fighters from Team England. It's going to be... George. St. George Staines, step forward. I don't think any of the Irish boys have this skill set to beat me. It's just, it's not there. And now... From Team Ireland, Martin, who will face George Staines? Very tough opponent. Again, I think this is going to be an excellent fight. Mr. Elliot. Matthew Elliot. George is probably the best guy on their team, so from the start, that was the fight I wanted. I will be putting on an A-star performance come Sunday. We've again got these two guys on the same journey 
with very similar stories outside of the cage. Both have got a huge attachment to their family. They're not just fighting for themselves. They are fighting not just to give their families pride, but to give them thanks for everything that they sacrificed to help build them to where they are now, chasing their dreams. He swings a lot and he swings and misses. He doesn't fire and aim. He's just gonna bah, 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 I'll try and hit me and he's, he's gonna get desperate at times. He's definitely uh, the most accomplished on their team, although he has had no pro fights. After the first round, he gasses and he won't have much for me after the first round. George is overlooking quite a lot of my game. We face off fight number three, England versus Ireland, George Staines versus Matthew Elliott. I had a bit of a word with George this morning. So I'm playing Mario Kart. I think George um, has this persona that uh, he's like, you know, a little nerd, anime, virgin. I'm gonna play Donkey Kong with your fucking head. He wouldn't be able to fight the way he fights if he didn't have something dark inside of him. What way is George? Yeah. Let's guess. You just look like an anorexic, bro. It's quite insulting to people with uh, eating disorders, mate. He's chatting loads of shit and um, he said something about my grandma, which isn't very nice. It's because I was insulting your granddad slash grandma slash he, she. My grandma was my only, like, my dad's only, like, parent growing up. And then, um, cause my dad's dad died when he was, like, three months old. He said something about his grandmother playing both roles, and uh, I just described his grandmother as a transvestite. He started calling my grandma because, um, because my, my grandma was my dad's only parent, so I was like, when she died, it was like my dad really crashed. Um, and he, um, and I was saying his mum was like, his mum and dad at the same time, he's like, what was he fucking? And I was like, don't fucking say that about my grandma. Sorry. Tell you what, though, the boogeyman's coming for you, lad. I have been making jabs at him since the beginning. Hey, it sounds Why like you're a upset little child. child. Today was the first time I really managed to get him to react. Your phone will go. I'll we'll shut that big mouth up. You think you're going to shut my mouth? Yeah, I think I do. Leave my family out of this. It's me and you, fine, but not my family. Now I'm really going to go after that thing. If we fight in the semis, I'll smash his face, and there's nothing that's going to stop me from it. No but whole bars, I'll just elbow him, I'll just kill him. Matthew Elliott is a born winner. This is all he knows. He's competed in judo, he's competed in wrestling, multiple gold medals in both sports, in both disciplines, potentially some of the hardest disciplines in martial arts. He is here to win. We want him on top of George. We want George on his back, and we want Matthew on top. That's no secret. Do the left hook now. Such cold power. He is potentially Ireland's secret weapon because not only does he have the skill set, but he has the mindset as well. Matthew's done this before against very good strikers, so I feel like experience-wise, Matthew just has the advantage, and you might see that on fight night come into play. Big deep breath, that chaos, lean into that madness, that side of you that's mental, yeah? Today's training session with Matthew was absolutely incredible. The last two fights we've seen in this cage, one of the factors has been the environment, this unique environment that these guys are forced to fight in. We've seen that cost some of the other fighters, potentially the victory. We went through the tools that he's going to use in the fight. Matt, he's a savage and he's by far the strongest lad that I've ever trained with. And it's going to show that, he's going to show how, how much of a different level he is on compared to George, you know. George's strongest position in a fight is to come across and take his partner down against the fence. Cracking him, you're cracking him. Here we go. Knee, 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 boom. When we get to the fence, take him down and, and beat him up and play, play at him with his own game, you know? Matthew Elliott has got the mindset to not let this phase him, to turn up and to perform on the day, and that is what you need to do to get victory here. throughout my entire life. It has been hard to build and maintain relationships with people because everyone has kind of been put on the sideline for sport. I don't actually know anyone because I've just spent my entire life training. 
Although, like, I was sacrificed on a lot, I feel that, like, my dad was sacrificed to so much more. He essentially gave up 10 years of his life from my studded sport till I started being able to drive myself. Monday through Friday after work, just at the second he got in, leaving to take me the training. Even, like, the financial burden of it all. If I was to just, you know, kind of abandon all that, that although he would never be, like, disappointed in me, that I would feel that, like, I've did something wrong. Like, I owe it to my parents to essentially make it back to them through all this. Like, there was times that, like, things had probably gotten, like, financially tough for my dad as well. And uh, my granddad stepped in on, like, a lot of occasions to, like, help me go away, compete, um, doing things like that. And it was always made it, like, a thing of, like, I wasn't allowed, you know? Like, he never wanted me known. Like, my granddad did everything for me without, like, without me ever realising. Yeah. I lost him in January of this year uh, to, like, a, a sudden heart attack. It's a really big influence on me in my life. I just want to be able to, like, to kind of, like, make my family feel, like, the same way he made me feel. This would be uh, the first fight, uh, since he passed. If you're gonna be that guy that gives the banter, that tries to have that personality that gets into confrontation, then come up with some stuff. Come up with your own stuff. Ah. Easy, bro. <laughs> ah, that straight on all that we've heard all that stuff before, it's boring. Show the camera your buddy. Show the camera your buddy. What happened, brother? How was that going? Let them go train. Have a bit of respect. Have a bit of respect. Have a bit of respect. I think maybe he's trying to convince himself that he's got more confidence than he has. You chill out as well, though. Get put to sleep again. Leave it. Leave it. Don't come out. That's not good. Go back to the dressing room. I just kept an eye on Jake and myself as well around, so I don't stand by that. It's better to excuse him for fighting you. I've got no respect for anybody. I don't know what you're trying to achieve by saying all this stuff on this show, but it's not even funny. I've been saying this all the time that people from the MMA community are some of the best people in the world, and then they just they just go and do that. What is wrong with him, man? Why are you even his mate? He's got absolutely no respect for anybody. I am definitely enjoying the role. I'm called the menace for a reason. Okay, we've got to try. So Dennis knows his skill set's not good enough to get to the top on its own, so he needs his chat. He needs to be able to talk loads of shit. I feel like it puts a lot more pressure on me, but I thrive under that pressure. George Staines is next up for England. Now, this guy is possibly the most unassuming on this entire show. Yet somehow, someway, he has got into the minds of the Irish team. They have seen his pedigree at amateur, and they are worried about it now at professional. He's gonna look to overcome, though, their toughest challenge. That guy is Matthew Elliott. My training session today with George was all about mindset, how to approach the fight, and how to use his body language in a little bit more professional way to present himself as a more difficult opponent. Stand-up is really good. The ground's really good. Keep them nudges and fakes and stay yeah, relaxed, yeah. you get me? And let's get this fucking win. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys. The, the longer this fight goes on, the better it goes for George. It's just he's good, man. He's very good. You'll see, you'll see it on Sunday night as well. Don't worry uh, what he can do, you know what I mean? George is a lot bigger than Elliot, and uh, George is going to be able to implement his weight. I'd like to see a little bit more dip in, lads. So if my opponent's coming back here, I'm just giving him that little dip, so he's got to worry about my takedown. He's really good. He's an amazing lad. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met. You just would not expect him to be as much of an animal as he actually is. Give him five or six cheeks, lads. Take the way he got that belief and that confidence in himself, where it's just up next level, you know? So I've got full confidence that he's going to do this, like, 100%. I believe that George can take this fight anywhere. He can keep it on the feet and give Elliot a lot of problems. But if it goes to the floor, George is very vicious and tenacious. Yeah, he's widely considered one of the best prospects there is. On the feet or on the floor, George is the winner. Yeah, he doesn't even look like a powerful kid, but 
he, when he hits you, you just feel, Jesus, you know what I mean? My dad used to take me to Hull City when I was like, uh, like six, seven. And then one of his mates, Mel of Leafly, owned um, a gym called Slaughterhouse Hull Fight Ministry. And he said to my dad, let's just bring him down one day. He took me down and then literally just never stopped training. He's been a huge part of my career, my dad. He's never missed one of my fights ever. And it means, you know, the world to be able to do it with him. And COVID was hard because like, like my mum and dad started like to split up. And it really hit my dad heavy, really, really hit my dad heavy. And it was probably one of the worst experiences of my life. Right, like, really? I go to the bathroom and just having a panic attack. Kind of like fell to the floor and just like started shaking on the floor. Uh, it is the worst experience of my life ever. So the fact that, you know, we had them hard times in COVID and then skip to like a year later, I'm fighting in the European Championships, the Olympics of MMA. I was just so proud I could do it for him. I probably would have had the panic attack much like sooner on than later, do you know, if it weren't for martial arts. It, I'd just been like sat in my room doing now and just feeling shit about myself. Without martial arts, I'd have probably like fell into like a massive like polar depression, like, my dad is probably another reason why I didn't fall, you know, into a, a dark hole of depression. It'll be sad not being able to go and like see him, just give him a hug after I've won that fight. It means a lot for him, me doing this, because like he knows how much I've wanted this for my whole life. I'll have that belt around my waist one day and I will be a world champion. When I get in the cage, I'm just like, I've got this. Oh, you can't record that part. You can't record that. Uh, the thing is, my mum's going to think I'm capable of doing this by myself now. Started with a run with the boys, went for about an hour, hour and five minutes. Then as soon as we got back, went in the air, went to my room. They wrapped me up in towels, stayed in the sauna suit and that. Was in there for an hour and we just listened to music. I've got the pleasure of being trained by uh, State. I'm privileged to be able to train with someone of his caliber. You've totally fucked this up tonight. Fuck Absolute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a sweat machine. Booga, booga, booga. George is not having a good time in there. He looks like he's having a rough one. If it gets to three minutes, I'm like needed. Yeah. My hands are fucking. Slammy. Young Georgie. Smash time. So you've got. Oh, yeah, you, you'll, you'll probably floor half keep overnight as well. 2.8. Yeah. Yeah. 2.8. Yeah. 2.8. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Woke up at 72.9 because I had 2.1 life this morning. He does this every night before I go yeah. to bed. 70.8 though. Mm. Yeah. Does that feel alright? I could do it on my own, but it's like when your whole team's around you, it keeps like team morale up and it just pushes that little extra bit. Obviously, I don't need it because I'm so used to doing wake-ups on my own, but like if I say I could do two kilos on my own, I could do three kilos with a team. Do you know what I mean? It keeps you going and like if you're thinking about quitting, they're just gonna push you even further. Like, MMA isn't an individual sport, it's a massive team sport. And without a team, you can't be the best in the world. So, blessed to have such a good team behind me. So, George's wake up went pretty much perfectly. He absolutely smashed it. He's been talking, laughing and joking throughout the whole thing. I'm here for a job at the end of the day. I'm not here to go to Brass Lab and party and get a meal and go for drinks. I'm not. Like, I can do that when I've won this finals. Party time then. Until then, concentration time. <laughs> Yeah, Benjamin and Gorman. Down there, I've got a head up here. Yeah. Ah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, arms are out of pressure, chest. Oh, I'll go here, just close to my chest, innit? Yeah, I'll go here, just close to my chest, innit? Alright. Another towel, please, boys. Another big one. When I won the Euros, man, I just cried. I just broke down crying and I went and hugged my dad and just cried with him for five minutes. He cried with me. Um, it was a very emotional uh, journey for both of us. I want to do this, I want to become the world champion. And I will do that, 100% sure about that. Can do. No one's getting in my head, apart from me, myself and I. Let his body cool down a little bit, and then we'll check the weight. I think we should be there or thereabouts. And these ones where you just put it straight yeah. on. You're going to get smashed by that. Anywhere, Moscow, England, Bratislava, Ireland, I smashed by that. I actually feel that uh, although it, ha it was bad in a sense that I was losing weight, I am now currently sitting under my fighting weight. So although I was feeling bad a few days out from the fight, now, uh, two days out, uh, I'm, feeling quite, uh, I'm feeling quite energetic and uh, I'm not having to worry or stress about uh, what weight I am or trying to meet any targets. George, I'm gonna punch a hole through your fucking chest. Gentlemen of Ireland and England, welcome once again to the Octagon Challenge studio. We have a scale, we have two guys looking extra skinny, so it must be way in day for the next fight. So, let's welcome straight away to the scale, first of all, from Team Ireland, Matthew Elliott. Yep, let's go, buddy, let's go. Okay, 70.8 is the magic number. Easy. 70.15 for Matthew yes. Elliott. Yes. The boy woke up on weight. He's full of beans. He could have scrapped right there and then. George looked, did look sunk, did look a bit like Skeletor. That's why I do believe Manny will get the win. Now let's welcome from Team England, George Staines. Let's go, bro. 70.8. Seventy point four for George Stane. George has the skills and the capability to smash everybody on the Irish team. Getting to know him, he's one of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. Okay, fight number three is official. Let's bring these guys together. Team England's George Staines and Team Ireland's Matthew Elliott. We see behind the camera in the gym at the villa. A very light George, good moods, uh, likes to joke, very relaxed. This was the first time we saw the intensity. This stare down, the height and the reach was evident, but we are now seeing two fighters, two young men who totally believe that they could destroy the other one. I'm excited to go on and take out the top dog straight away and uh, let everyone know that I'm actually the prospect in the show and that it's not George. Fighting a wrestler doesn't really bother me because I beat that guy. I take everybody down. I don't think there's one fight where I haven't got at least one take down. I want to see the best of George in there as well because I want to see a really good fight because these are two of the best athletes there is. Gentlemen, well done. That's it. This is fight number three. George Staines versus Matthew Elliott. Great job. There's a great sign that nobody really looks out for in, uh, in fighting. When people uh, square up together, so when they face off, um, George put his hands in his pockets straight away. So in the jungle, if this was a big chimp and a small chimp, internally that little chimp will hide his hands because in the jungle, your, your hands are your weapons. I did see a little bit of crack in Elliot. I, I felt like he was even going to leave the competition at one point. Hiya, I've met with it, uh, so I have, so all dialed in for tomorrow. Right? No, we're way down under, uh, 0.6 under, and after breakfast and that, so I'm pretty sure all is uh, all is well. Yeah, 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 yeah,
No, I appreciate that. That's that's all we need. That's all we need. All right, I love you. All right, I miss you. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Love you, but that is my fiance. Her name is Cameron. Uh, we met, and um, we just met like over social media, as most people do nowadays. And uh, yeah, she is very important to me. She is a, uh, she's everything. So she's, she'll always be there with me. So I suppose being apart from her, that's uh, that's probably harder on her than it is for me because at least I like I have something to do here. Uh, there's very few people whose opinion I really care about. She's one of them. So she is. I've, uh, I've definitely landed a good one. I tried to hide the fact that I liked Lego from a lot of people because of the fact that I didn't want to get picked on. Did I just get a job as like a carpenter? This is like real Lego. <laughs> it actually is. It's fucking fun. No, but it's not as fun. Yeah, it is. Did you just carpenter yeah. it before you No, but like, don't get minifigures. <laughs> When you get to a certain age, you just don't care what people think. And like college, I got to that age, I was like, I honestly do not give a toss what people think about me. Official George Stains unboxing right now. You've got to describe it as it comes out. <gasps> oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> People like the fact that I'm a geek, that you know, you find that out, you know, like you think, oh no, if I, I'm a geek and I like Lego, it's too tall, childish, no one wanna to talk to me, no like no bears will like Lego, you know, stuff like that, but no one really cares. Like they honestly don't. If you're a good person, that's all you're a good person, you know, you're friendly, you're nice, you're kind, that's what all people really care about. Who we build as many figures first. You always gotta do that. The instructions say. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real pain to be in an MMA fight of this. Let me help you a bit. How long has it taken you? Close, two, 40 minutes now. 40 minutes? Yeah, that's like a Guinness World Record. You're gonna take the piss out of me for something I enjoy, like, that, that's a good one, that lad. Um, I'm gonna take the piss out for you for going on the last, you know, every weekend. No, because it's something you enjoy. If you enjoy it, it's like, so what? He's gonna throw loads of Lego in the cage. <laughs> so he's, so Matthew stands on it. And he's like, ah! Oh, you know, you get stand on a piece of Lego and you gotta pick it out your foot. That's, that's what he's gonna do to him. So the game plan was just to chuck loads of Lego on the floor. Hopes that someone stands on it and it gets injured. Hi, Dad. Hiya. So this is, they want me to show you the cage. So this is the cage. It's amazing, isn't it? He keeps me on the straight and narrow, do you know? I'm curious to know what Lego set. It was um, Mando's new um, Starfighter. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you made it? Yeah, I made it. They made me make it last night. <laughs> they made me, oh, they made me, oh, God. It was torturous. <laughs> to be able to, you know, like, help give back to my dad what he's given to me would mean everything. Sorry, Dad. Great to see you, mate. Love, to, love you too. See you soon. Love you, Dad. Love to see you soon. I'll mess. I'll, I'll let you know as soon as I have one. Yeah, I can't wait to be enjoying Love you so much, Dad. But right, don't cry when you hang up. You are gonna cry. I'm not. I'm alright. Don't. You know you don't cry. I'm not. Okay. Okay. Love you loads, Dad. See you soon. Bye. I put my name on that platform and just celebrate with him. I'm back. Excited to be back. Good job we uh, we won uh, the challenge when I was away, so we got to pick the fight. You know, so it's the fight we want, George versus Elliot. So let's see how he's getting on. Yo! Hey, yo! Yeah, buddy! Oh, yeah! Jeez! Oh, geez. Back in the building. Bosh. Bosh. Oh, man. Good. Yeah, yeah good. mate, look yeah. down. How's good it going? Good time in Russia. Yeah, we're bad. It wasn't too bad. Bosh. Yeah. Excited about today? Yeah. I like you see you the nutrition down there. Yeah. You know that? <laughs> Let's go. Well done.
This fight is technically one of the most exciting for me because of the accolades that both fighters have achieved in different sports and in the same sport. In the UK, George means something. He won some medals in uh, IMF uh, between amateurs and the same for Matthew on Commonwealth game. This could be the final skill set wise, achievement wise. So again, I think it's going to come down to who can handle the moment the best. It's hard to guess who could win in this fight, but there is a big chance that this fight will not take 30 or 40 seconds. It's a big chance that this fight will go to the judge's decision. So whoever can cope with this unique environment the best, whoever can, you know, feel most comfortable and release themselves within that cage, that is the person that will get the victory. So we are ready for fight number three here of Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. First up, let's welcome Team Ireland's The Boogeyman, Matthew Elliott. I think Matthew really wants to hurt George. I think he wants to make sure that he can't go to the semi-finals. Matthew's a tough boy as well, like not just very skilled, but he's tough. That's a man in front, standing in front of me who is wanting and trying to take everything that I've worked for. I'm going to absolutely tear his head off. And now welcome from Team England, St. George State! I definitely have better in George. I'm very confident about it. <laughs> Any world champion has belief in themselves. He has that type of belief in himself. George, may the force be with you. You just gotta let the animal out sometimes, and that's what I do every time I perform. I do think George has all the tools he needs to do to stop a good wrestler like, like Elliot. Matthew is hungry to win this one as well. Every other fight we've seen so far has been first round quick finishes, but I feel like this one maybe might go the distance. I think we need to shut him down, and I believe George is our man to do it. Touch goals. Back to Good luck in your fight. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go. Ready? Red, ready? So the hands one. Fight! Let's go, brother. Hands up. Yes, yes, yes. All right, you can never change it, please. 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 You can never change it, Big shot. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. Let's get side trip. Let the hands again. Head position, George. Head position. This is that little bit of team you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah,
You sh shrug your shoulders a bit, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get two hands in. Get two hands in. Get two hands in. He does hands. He does hands. Two hands in. Two hands in. Two hands in. Keep the weight on him. 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 No, definitely keep the weight on him. Keep the weight on him. Now listen to me, listen to me, mate, right? That's the biggest energy. Now it's gonna come down to the skill and technique. Look at the start of that round. Look at the start of that round, right? Yeah. See how he kind of defended for a bit, then he crumbled. Now, what happened was he just got a little bit stiff, a little bit tight in the positions there. Be loose, if you feel like the position's gone, bail on top, hard look in that armbar. Take a sub at me. It's brief, this is it. On, this is it. On the feet, you're looking really good, brother, it's yeah? Brief. Keep that jab, okay. yeah? That jab is near. You can pop him away from that jab and follow with the right hand. Yeah? Show First and third, yeah? First and third. Show him that you're ready. Go fresher. Full recovery. Couch is out. That's your round. You nearly finished the fight. Couch is out. Tell him, please. Yeah, let's fucking go. Let's take this. I will keep that. There we go, George. George, he's tired. He's fucking knackered. He's knackered. Ready? Back to corner. Second round, back. Second round, gentlemen. Fight! Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Back I'm going to tie. Open yeah. course for me, George. Show the open course. One, two. One, two. One, two. Show the open course, George. One, two. George, don't chase him. Show the open course. 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 Show the Nice, George. Take your time, George. Hopefully, Andrew. Take your time. Big George. Lift him, lift him. 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 Lift him
Lefty, lefty, lefty. Yeah. Yeah. Watch him for grabbing an ankle now. Watch him for grabbing an ankle now. Watch him for grabbing an ankle now, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff this first, mate, before you punch him. Big sprawl, big sprawl, big sprawl. Big sprawl, big sprawl, big sprawl. Big sprawl, big Keep We're halfway now. Halfway. Halfway. So far. Keep going. Yeah, 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 no, squeeze the knees. Squeeze the knees. Back to the base. Back to the cross. Squeeze the knees. Let's keep punching up, George. Let's keep punching up, George. Punch him up, George. Let's keep punching up, George. Punch him up, George. Punch him up, George. Punch him up, George. Punch him up. Just punch him up on me. Nice. Flat him out. Flat him out with that. Flat him out. Punch. Push him forward. Flat him out. Just keep punching him. Punch him up. Flat him out. Punch him. Make him punch him. Two minutes left. Heavy. Heavy hits. Heavy with the mitts. Heavy hits. Heavy hits. Heavy hits. Back to the right. Only 30 to go, right? One minute five. Yeah. There he is. Pick his legs up. Pick his legs up. Shelf his legs. Shelf his legs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That was a little bit of a little pull up. That's all good. Right. See that little warrior that came out there at the end? At the end, that's what we need that's to start what we now. Need here, bro. Oh. Much, much, much better, man. Let's just say this. Let's play this on the safe side. It's one apiece. We need this round, okay? Let's say it's one apiece. Just more of that. Three, three, beautiful, three. Brother. Brother, yeah. brother, distance control. Let him do. You're killing him on the feet. Let him do Fuck the shooting. Don't be stepping in with these drugs. your legs. Very good round. Let him do the shoot. Frame him and take top position, mate. Let him do the hard work. It's all to play for. Yeah. You right here right now can go across here with nothing to lose yeah. and take his head off. Yeah. Okay? If you smash him into the mat there, you get to mount and punch a hole in him. And this is this way it's ended there. So you got this in all areas. And you know what you got this most? You got it here. Yeah. You're fucking oh. tough. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. He ain't gonna beat you. He is broken. He is broken, Give me that one two, man. One two. Gouches out! Gouches out! This. Please, be careful with Bebatop, okay? Bebatop. Ready? Ready? Let's go, Jim. Bye. 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 Back to fans, back to fans, please. Wait for fight. Ready? Let's go, Jim. Fight! Shot, shot with the hands. 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 Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Sit him back down. 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 Sit him Take the arm, take the arm. legs. Take the arm again. It's a minute of push. Yeah, take that arm. Split his legs and back his arm. Push his head down. 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 Pizza knees together, yeah? Nice. Hips in. Hips in. Head position. Oh, oh. Hips is hips in. Watch him exploding. Hips in. Hips in. Hips in. Hips in. Hips in. Hips in, yeah. Keep, keep them hips in. Keep them in position. Keep them away. Don't sit on that bottom. If you can, you can keep hips in. Get on the hips in. Suck it down. That's two minutes of control. Beautiful. Back to our feet. Can you, can you fight this under up back, please, mate? Yeah, just right side. Can we get that? There we are. Yeah, 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 nice, nice, nice. Red, be careful with your fingers. Hey, up, up, up. Up. Say, you're you're that yeah, nice, nice, to us. Keep that. 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 Take his legs down. Take Lift his legs up. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Hips in, hips in, hips in. Spin the legs again, George. Spin the legs. Nice, George. Squeeze the hands together. Beat it, beat it. 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 Keep the waist. Beautiful. That's three minutes. Nice. That's nice. three minutes of control. Step that leg up now. Get that right knee to the fence and nice. step up. The judge is going in. Two minutes left, Matthew! The judge is yeah. going yeah. in. Yeah. 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 You ain't getting that. Good. 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 Step up. Nice. Of course, this is there again. This is perfect. That's good. Good. Keep it going, Josh. Little shots there now. Keep it going. Beautiful, you're smashing him, yeah? Nice. Brother, we want to finish now, though. Nice, you're smashing him, smashing him. There you all day, all day. If we want to finish it, Nice, nice, brother. Go on, come on. Excellent, man. He's going to get desperate. He's going to get desperate. So good, so good. Nice, 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 nice,
Last minute to us. Stay hard, head high. Watch the switch. Watch your body, watch the switch. Head high, nice. Knees, 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 knees. Suplex him, lift him. Nice, nice, nice. Take him forward, then take him back. Watch the roll. Tell me what's happening. 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 Ref, he's not doing nothing. Let's, Let's, Let's get a finish here. Let's go, keep it up. Don't worry about the finish. We need something, lad. Yeah, yeah, keep up. Keep keep that pace. Let's win this fight, George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's you, brother, all day. All day. George, you punch his face. Yeah. Give him some more seconds, man. Morning, vice fans, George. Morning, bro. That's it. That's it all day. Give him some more seconds. Keep the hips in. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah, George. Keep the hips in. Keep the hips in. Keep the hips in. Keep the hips in there. Get the head back up. Head height, head height, head height. Pop your head out. Keep the head height. Yes, George. Keep the height. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hello, George. Nice. You can do what you want with him. You can do what you want with him all day. All fucking 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 day. Finish him. Finish him. Yes, George. Yes. All fucking day. Yes. All fucking day. Yes. I'm George. I am George. I'm George. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. George, I fucking love you. Jeez. Jeez. Come on, man. Oh, what a fight that was. What a fight that was. It was like back and forward at times. Jeez. Hey, I'm a warrior, lad. Warrior. Hey, warrior. Absolutely amazing fight between Matt and George tonight. So after three hard rounds, it goes to a judge's decision. Your winner, by way of unanimous decision, Team England set yeah! George yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! I played our hard did. I respect the George for playing the George. I take nothing away from him. Those are two young guys that put on a fight today that some professionals will go through their whole career without ever putting on a fight that required that much effort. I had to have the ball with the guys, you know. I owe them both a beer. Mate, you may have a little concussion there. Maybe a little bit. I'm lying in bed thinking, something's not right here, you know. So I go, to, I go to my door, unlock my door, and open the door. And then they're running away, and there's like little, like, I can just see fire, and like the, the pots, I went, oh, fireworks, boom, close the door, and I jump out the window. That's your fucking funny, bro, you know? Look, boy, have to come outside. That boy was about to break, he was on 97%. I thought the cameraman was gonna get hit. Hello! We all had Hassan going like a bit mental, so it was like, it might be best to leave him alone at this point, so like, he might attack one of us. Like, he's, got, he's, he's hulking out a little bit, like, you know, don't know who his teammates are in that. Thank goodness I don't live in that house. <laughs> in the hospital, George received a brain scan. In the hospital now, about to get my bloods taken, I think. Got a friggin' needle stuck in my arm. They found a very, very minor bleed. He was in the hospital before the fight, and he's in the hospital after the fight. It's serious.